Hey guys, Revisions Mentor here. I'm Jenny. And I'm Erin. And we are here to share with you some professional tips and insider secrets to how to start and run your home staging business. Absolutely. So if you subscribe to our channel, click on the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. We will be uploading videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday at 2.30 p.m. Today we're going to talk to you about how to achieve the wow factor when buyers walk in your staged home for the very first time. Yeah, so you have about 60 to 90 seconds to hook somebody and their mind is made up within the first minute of them walking in the door. So that's your opportunity to really knock their socks off and get them really excited about the house that they're walking into. Thinking about and talking about why it's important to capture a potential buyer's interest from the moment they walk in the door. Well, you have about 60 seconds before someone has their mind made up. So if someone walks into the door, they see the living room, they see the kitchen, kind of happens even before they get into the bedroom spaces. Yeah, it does. You're really kind of creating an emotional moment for the person. You want them to walk in the front door and say, wow, this is gorgeous, this is cozy, this is inviting, this feels like home. This is it. Yeah. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna talk about identifying your demographic when you're thinking about how you're going to stage a property. Yep, absolutely. So is this a neighborhood that's primarily geared towards you know younger families with young children or retirees? Um, you know, what's the school district? What sort of uh, what sort of factors are happening in that community that are going to uh, determine what what sorts of demographic are going to be looking at the house? Right. You want to create the sense of at home for that particular demographic, right? right? So if we're looking at primarily a retiree's neighborhood, mm -hmm. we're going to make sure that things that are maybe more pertinent to young children aren't the primary focus in the staging. Right. You know, maybe so, making sure the swing set's gone, yeah, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, and making yeah. sure the, 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 paint, the bedrooms aren't painted, you know, candy colors mm -hmm. and clean up the, you know, the toys and kind of get those things out of sight if it's a... Uh, an occupied staging. Right. And really thinking again about the demographic, you know, if you're maybe you're looking at a neighborhood that's very trendy in your area mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's appealing, you know, young hip couples mm -hmm. um, that are just starting out in life, you know, that might influence the types of furnishings that you are using in the in the staging as well. Yeah, definitely so. the the art that you use because it's so subjective. Um, we try to choose art that is, you know, abstract or, you know, some, some coastal scenes because we live near the beach. Uh, but those sorts of factors definitely matter. When you're staging a bungalow in the downtown area, it's going to be less beachy than, than artsy. So these are just kind of things you want to keep in mind when you're making your selections. Right. It's super important. Make sure that your staging design is, is playing to the, the market for that particular home and that particular neighborhood. Okay, so Erin, how do you create the emotional connection for buyers when you're staging a home? All right, well, I guess if you're starting with an occupied staging, if somebody's currently living in the house, you need to start by depersonalizing. Now, this is something that you hear all the time on all the staging shows, but it's really important. You want to take down the personal photos. Um, when somebody walks into your house and it's for sale, you want to make it a commodity and not your own personal showcase. Mm -hmm. So when somebody walks in your house and they see pictures of your, you know, your kids or your dog or you know your family on the wall, they feel like, they feel like they're invading your space. So we suggest to people that you take that stuff down. Right. Um, also, I think um, in addition to that, I'm thinking about um, real specific artwork or religious artifacts yeah. um, that may not, you know, vibe for everybody. Um, also, like really personal choices in terms of design selections, like um, maybe a young child's bedroom that's painted a beautiful candy pink, um, yeah. but that's not going to, you know, necessarily appeal to all buyers. Right. Um, so really depersonalizing and taking out those things that that are less broadly appealing to uh, a, a wider market. Right. And something as simple as a coat of paint, you know, that would, yeah. you know, uh, when. When Jenny and I walk into a house, we can say, oh, this is a piece of cake, it's a coat of paint, and we can make it look fresh and new and perfect. But sometimes buyers have trouble seeing past that. So if they go into a bedroom that's candy pink, yeah, they, they may think, oh, this is a lot of extra work. Go ahead and slap a coat of paint on the wall and go ahead and neutralize things, but you know, tone it down a little bit. Right, right. That's a great way, I think, to 
start creating an emotional connection, get rid of the personal artifacts of the people that currently live there. Mm -hmm. And then I think um, we, just, you know, we're talking a little bit about the foyer and how to get that, you know, really warm, welcoming, big impact moment right when um, your potential buyer walks in the door. And that's not actually not just the foyer, right? That starts outside the front door as the person is approaching the house. Yeah. You know, is there a welcoming, um, you know, entrance yeah. is a, a, a pretty wreath, a, a nice, mm -hmm. a new, fresh, crisp mat. Yeah. You know, what other things, you know, would we put outside of a entrance? Yeah, sometimes a potted plant or, you know, mm. silk plant, just depending on, the, you know, the weather conditions and whether or not, you know, depending on how far the house is from where we live, can we get up there to water a plant or, you know, do we put other, we can put silk plants outside. That definitely takes some wear and tear if you do put your, um, your staging inventory outside. Um, something like a brand new um, welcome mat is a $10, $12 investment and it's the very first impression. When somebody walks in the door, the first thing they see is this welcome mat. So go ahead and splurge. Yeah. Make sure it looks brand new. Make sure it looks really fresh and clean because that is going to convey an important message to your buyers. Absolutely. And that whole fresh and clean um, thing that you're talking about, we want that to convey right into the inside of the front door too. So the foyer is a really important place for, you know, a sparkling clean palette, mm -hmm. maybe another fresh coat of paint, mm -hmm. um, and then some really uh, prominent stuff to catch your attention. You know, mm -hmm. a pretty table, a bold piece of art, a fresh bouquet of flowers, um, just something that says, um, welcome home, lamps. Lamps yeah. that can be turned on before the showing. And this is also a great opportunity for you to put your marketing material out. Go ahead and put your framed business card or your framed postcards out on that table. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be colorful. We also make, you know, eight and a half by 11 kind of heavy card stock printed um, mini portfolios that we lay out for folks to see mm -hmm. uh, just kind of creates that very intentional welcoming environment yeah and then you can also again you know play to your demographic there we were talking about what you know the area that you live if you're in a beach community maybe hang a pretty you know sun hat mm -hmm. on a hook or um, if it's a if it's a family geared neighborhood maybe throw a basket um, at the you know entrance of the foyer with you know flip-flops or mm -hmm. um, a, a family set of cozy slippers yeah um, just beach those towels. little personal yeah beach yeah. towels that's a great idea yeah 